there was a story on 60 Minutes, which is seen on CBS News, that Russia is attacking, obviously, civilians in Ukraine with new waves of missiles. You see it in the, in the paper every day. It's a relentless assault uh, that the United Nations has called a war crime. But even before Russia's invasion, more than 1,000 Ukrainian children were already at war, and they were at war fighting cancer. And as 60 Minutes first reported last winter, Russian attacks on hospitals and the power grid put these fragile children in immediate danger. Olena Zelensk, the first lady of Ukraine, asked the world for help. And a renowned American hospital in 21 countries answered the call. And what followed was an improvised flight to safety that Ukraine called the convoy of life. Olena Zelenska spoke with the first ladies of other countries. She said, for this convoy to work, they needed to set up the system in their countries, making sure that physicians and hospitals in their country would accept the children for treatment. Jill Biden responded for the United States, Bridget Macron for France, Agata Duda for Poland, and many others. They helped activate charities and medical societies. An improvised triage center in Poland set up by an American hospital, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee, named for the patron saint of hopeless causes. Dr. Marta Salik of St. Jude, who helped organize the triage center in an empty hotel in the Polish countryside, said the children would get escorted from Lvov to the border so they didn't have to wait in line. And then they would cross the border into Poland. And the children who were sick would go straight to the hospital with an ambulance, sometimes a helicopter. And the ones that were stable would take this really impressive medical train that had medical staff. And they had an ICU and a surgical theater. And they would take this train to a city called Kalis that was close to where our Unicorn Clinic was. And the Unicorn Clinic was the name that they gave to the hotel that could hold 300 patients and their families from the Ukraine. Medical records were translated and hospitals found for treatment at no charge in 21 welcoming countries. The mass evacuation of children with cancer ran last spring from March through May. By recent count, the Convoy of Life evacuated 1,300 children into a welcoming world, allowing their families to fight one war at a time. Roxalina Samaras, the mother of two-year-old Melanie was fighting cancer, knew her family had to escape Ukraine. In February, her mother, Roxalina Samaras, joined the jam of thousands of refugees struggling to cross into Poland. They are now living in St. Jude in Memphis, Tennessee. Roxalina told 60 Minutes, there's hope that Melania can be cured of her fibrosarcoma, a cancer of the connective tissue in her leg. She said, we fled the war from people who just wanted to kill and here people are greeting you and want to give you the best help. Wherever I go, I want to say thank you to every person that I meet. I feel like I want to scream out loud to everyone. Thank you. America gave this to us. and I would like to have a chance to help others too so that people believe that kindness wins. We need to do more good things. It's a great story. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.